Here are the best React resources from my point of view that you can find on the internet. The first and the most important resource for you must be a website react.dev. Why that? This is a new website of React with really nice documentation, which essentially means here you can find something like your state hook, you will get a description what it is, an example and lots of different usages. And this is extremely important because previous website with documentation was quite dry and was not showing a lot of examples. Here you can see how to add state to your component, how to update your state, how to update objects and arrays, and much, much more. This is why I highly recommend if you need some specific function or you just want to learn React in the documentation way, this is the way to go. So if you want to start here, you just click on learn, here you have a quick start, and then you will get all sections regarding different things one by one, so you can keep learning. If you already have some React knowledge, but you want to prepare for your job interview, to find a React job, or you just want to polish your React knowledge, I highly recommend you my video, React interview questions and answers, and the main idea is that you don't just get some theory, but you are getting real questions like on the interview, and you can pause the video and answer these questions first by yourself, before you will hear the answer. I'm really a huge fan of learning programming on video courses. Why is that? Because you see that code really works in the video, it is not some dry text, and you can easily follow along. You really see what happens on the screen and not just read the text. And actually there are lots of different videos regarding learning React, and this is one of the videos that I really like. This is from Traversy Media and it is called React.js Crash Course. It is less than 2 hours, but you will get really a lot here to learn React and even code a small real project there. You don't really need 10 or 12 hours course in order to jump in the React. But a lot of people still for some reason prefer books to learn programming. This is not exactly what I can recommend or what I like, but for these people you might want to look on the book The Road to React of the really famous author. You can see here the comments of really popular people in React community regarding this book, as well as lots of Twitter comments which are really satisfied with this book. But here I must mention that the book is not free. I'm sorry for interruption, but I just want to let you know that I have a membership here on the channel that you can join to support me. It will give you access to the new videos earlier, emojis and priority replies to your comments. Now let's jump back into the video. Another not free resource is a course on Udemy from Maximilian Schwarzmüller, which is one of the best instructors on the Udemy that I can highly recommend, and this is the extremely popular course where you will learn not only React, but the whole React ecosystem. And you can see how many students are enrolled in this course, but here is the problem. I really can recommend this instructor and this course, but you must understand that this course includes 74 hours of video. It really makes sense to take such course if you want to learn React from start to the end, the whole ecosystem, and also if you want to do lots of different projects and practical tasks, but if you don't have that much time, I really can't recommend it, because if you have 3 or 5 hours of something to learn, it makes sense to choose some other resource. Two more resources which I find extremely important are completely free, and these are two posts of Dan Abramov, who invented Redux and is a co-contributor in React ecosystem. First of all is a complete guide to use effect. If you used React and even use effect a lot, you will for sure find here lots of things that are important to remember and it will simplify your React code and improve your usage of use effect a lot. This article is a must from my point of view. Another article here is also free from the same author and this is about writing resilient components. Here you can see lots of different examples with the code of how to structure your code better, what to use, what not to use. This is more directed toward beginners, but again highly recommend. Next two resources are about state management. And this is the official website of Tenstack Query, which is a really amazing way to synchronize your API data with the data inside React component. You don't need to learn it if you just start learning React, but at some point it makes a lot of sense to invest a little bit of time and check documentation and try to use this library. It will simplify your React code really a lot. 
The same goes about Redux and Redux Toolkit. This is a state management tool, probably the most popular in the world for front-end applications, and this is extremely often used together with React, which actually means when you master React, it makes sense to invest some time in Redux, and in the official website you can find amazing tutorials and quick start guides to see how to use it in order to build real application by using Redux Toolkit. And the last three resources are videos from my channel, which are completely free and which will help you to improve your React knowledge and will help you to create a real production application. First of all, as you can see here, we have a to-do list inside React, which is done completely on the client side, and we can create to-dos, remove to-dos, and update to-dos. In half of an hour, we will create this project. Another project is building a quiz with questions and answers, also just with plain React, without any dependencies. And the last project here, which is React Slider, will show you how without any libraries you can create a reusable component such as Slider. There are lots of resources to learn here, but if you are not sure that your React code is really on a good level, or you want to refactor it to more professional code, I highly recommend you to check this video, because I am covering there how to refactor your junior React application to a senior level.